Well, hello, my name is Dave. Thank you for joining me today. Today I want to talk to you about uh, wire drawing and the benefits of uh, owning a wire drawing mill and a variety of uh, wire drawing plates with different profiles. Uh, probably the biggest benefit uh, is being able to stock just one type of wire uh, and being able to pull that wire down into whatever profile and shape you need in whatever length you need when you need it. Uh, that saves you from having to stock a, a lot of different uh, profiles and lengths of wire that are just sitting in your supply drawer. Uh, some of which you may use infrequently, some you might use every day. Uh, but you can draw down what you need from, from the basic shape. Uh, I begin with a large uh, round wire, and from that round wire I could uh, draw it down into a smaller round wire using a, a round draw plate. Or I can use uh, draw plates with different profiles to actually change the shape, the profile of the wire uh, into the shape I need. And for that uh, you would need draw plates with a variety of uh, different profiles. Uh, this particular draw plate is a uh, square draw plate and it, it begins with a uh, probably a two and a half three millimeter uh, square here and graduates down uh, I think this is probably down to about a one millimeter and you could stop at any point along this line and uh, get the, uh, the size of wire you need. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, how a draw plate actually uh, functions and that's a, uh, a function of the shape of the, uh, of the draw plate. In the, uh, the back of the draw plate, the hole will be bigger than the hole in the face. And if you imagine the wire passes through the hole in the back, it gets squeezed down by the sides of the, uh, of the, of the uh, plate. And when it comes out the front of the plate, it's actually smaller than it was when it went in. So basically it reduces the wire from all sides and uh, forces it into a, uh, a smaller shape. Um, now, the plates come with uh, different profiles. Uh, like I said, uh, here's a uh, half round plate. Uh, this one uh, is great for making ring shanks of, uh, of various sizes. And you can get these in uh, a variety of sizes as well. Uh, this particular one probably goes from a four millimeter wide down to about a two, mil two millimeter wide. And, uh, Changes, uh, you can start with a half round wire and draw down to smaller sizes or you can be begin with a larger size uh, round wire than you need and actually draw it down and actually change the profile through, through the different steps. Uh, a good wire, wire drawing plate will have uh, graduated sizes and each size will be graduated down so that you don't take too big a reduction between steps uh, in any one operation. So. The idea is that uh, the wire is gradually drawn down to a smaller, uh, smaller profile with the uh, nice even graduations uh, being employed each time so that you don't get a big reduction in one step and maybe not such a big reduction in the next step. So a good quality draw plate will have uh, well graduated uh, profiles and those profiles are uh, actually available in several different shapes. Uh, this, this is a combination plate. It actually, uh, I have a graduated series up here in a triangle shape. Uh, below that is a hexagon shape, and below that is a pear shape. You can get ovals, you can get uh, star shapes. There are, there are so many different profiles available uh, for drawing plates, and they're available in a, a variety of sizes. Um, a good example of that is this, uh, this couple of plates here. These are uh, actually round draw plates, and you can see that this one begins with a very large wire, uh, which is great for uh, drawing down tubing and that sort of thing. And then the next, uh, ideally the smallest hole on this one would be uh, matched so that the next uh, next largest hole in this plate would uh, step down nice and uh, evenly. So it's good if you're going to go with a, a plate that has uh, graduated sizes. If you're going to get two plates, try to get them matched uh, so that they actually you can go from one, one, the biggest one, down to the next one without a big reduction or no reduction. Now, to make wire drawing uh, easy, uh, we actually produce a uh, wire drawing mill, and I want to present that to you now. This is the uh, WDM32, and the 32 refers to the overall length of the mill, it's 32 inches. The uh, practical wire drawing length of this particular mill is 19 inches. Uh, that's from the uh, face of the draw plate, back here on the uh, plate support, to the uh, end of the pliers once the uh, flowers are fully withdrawn. And so that means you can pull practically a 19 inch piece of wire. Now, 
generally you won't uh, start with uh, you won't need to pull a 19 inch piece of wire unless maybe you're doing wire wrapping or something like that uh, if you're making ring shanks or something like that you may may only start with a piece of wire that's two inches long and a larger size than you need and draw that down through the half round uh, plates and by the time it's drawn through and elongated remember it's being forced down into a smaller size so it actually gets longer as it's pulled uh, that two inches may become four inches so you have uh, you know just just enough uh, material to go ahead and bend up your ring shank and then you kind of minimize the waste on that uh, today I'm actually going to uh, demonstrate how the mill works so I'm going to draw a piece of uh, copper uh, wire through that the features of the mill uh, begin with uh, the winch here this is a uh, three to one reduction uh, mill so uh, for each three times you pull the turn the handle around the big spool turns one time so a three to one reduction gives you three to one leverage so it makes uh, it pulling even the largest wire uh, much easier than if you were trying to draw it through uh, by hand some of the smaller wire you can draw by hand not too much trouble but the bigger wires they, they could be a real bear to pull uh, some safety features uh, incorporated into the mill here are the safety curtain when the uh, wire is being pulled through the draw plate, remember that it's being squeezed down into a, a smaller shape. It does not want to go through that draw plate. You're forcing it to come through the draw plate. But when it gets to the end and releases uh, from the draw plate, it recoils with quite, quite a bit of force and the wire can actually go flying about. You don't want to be struck by a piece of wire, so the curtain here actually knocks that wire down and keeps it uh, from flying about. Another safety feature it is here in the, uh, in the pliers. Uh, it's actually uh, attached through the uh, chain mechanism here to a shuttle that uh, travels along with it so that when it's uh, released and recoils, it can't go flying about. Uh, it just slides back and stays under the curtain here. Uh, another feature with this, this particular mill is the uh, draw, draw plate uh, rest in the back here. These drawing plates are uh, made with a uh, tempered steel and uh, they need to be hard to resist uh, wear and that sort of thing. So they're tempered at the factory, uh, which means that uh, they're almost like a piece of glass. If you drop them, they will shatter. Uh, another thing to consider with the, uh, the draw plates is they are not made of stainless steel or any kind of uh, non-corrosive metal. They're actually a, a good grade of uh, tool steel if they're a good quality draw plate. And tool steel will rust, uh, especially in uh, saltwater air environments, that sort of thing. So if you live uh, in an environment that's uh, low humidity, you may be fine just storing them away in a, in a drawer. And, uh, keeping them out of a high humidity area. If you live near the ocean, you may, you may, be, may be subjected to uh, salt air. In that case, uh, maybe the case you want to coat them with a light coat of, a, of some kind of a refined olive oil or, or some other kind of a natural oil, just to uh, prevent any kind of rust from setting in on them and causing damage to your, your profiles. Um, now, let's talk a, a little bit about the wire and how you need to prepare it when you're, uh, you're getting ready to draw. Uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the wire is clean, uh, dead soft, or somewhere near dead soft. Uh, from dead soft, you can actually draw down through three steps and uh, get quite a bit of uh, change in profile and change in length. Uh, this particular wire, I've uh, tapered the end of it here so that it actually fits through the next step in the drawing uh, plate. Uh, you'll need to taper just a little bit so that you can have some of the wire sticking out the end of the draw plate for the pliers to actually grab onto and pull through the next step. Uh, this particular wire, I've, uh, I've taken it through the uh, number 13 step here and it fits that very nicely. Now let's, moving down to the next step, uh, you can see that I've actually got a little less than a quarter of an inch sticking out there. That's, that's plenty of wire for the pliers to be able to grab a hold of. Now before we begin pulling though, you'll want to, to apply some kind of lubrication to the, uh, to the wire. Here I have just a uh, chunk of beeswax. Uh, beeswax works great for uh, lubricating the, uh, the dies and the wire and keeping the wire from damaging the, uh, the drawing plates. Or from the drawing plates uh, being able to uh, damage the wire. So a little lubrication is, uh, is good, beeswax works great for that, and it's, a, it's an inexpensive uh, fix for that. So let's uh, present this to the next, uh, next size hole here, that would be the number 14 in the plate here. And we'll present that to the, uh, to the support plate here and put the, put the plate in the uh, rest. And there's a hole in the, uh, in the end of the plate here for the uh, wire to actually pass through. And we can just let that drop. Uh, th at this point, we flip the curtain back, get it out of the way. 
and wind the, uh, the winch out so that there's enough uh, release there that you can actually open the pliers up, um, reach through and position the, uh, the draw plate, present the wire, and then you just kind of uh, hold the, the pliers in place. They grab, uh, they grab on. You hold that tension in place with your other hand, and then just apply a little bit of tension here on the uh, on the winch. And as you do, uh, the leverage uh, applied here by the uh, strap is transmitted to the uh, to the handles on the uh, the drawing pliers, and causes them to actually grip the wire tighter. So the harder the pull, the tighter the uh, pliers actually grip the uh, the wire. So you just hold that tension in place. And at this point, you want to flip the curtain back over, and you're ready to actually begin the drawing operation. So you begin uh, just cranking through, and as the wire releases from the from the plate, uh, a couple things are going to happen. The pliers are going to let go of the wire; uh, they're going to recoil back. The wire is actually going to uh, drop out of the plate. Uh, it could go flying away, except the safety curtain will be there to knock it down, and then the drawing plate. It could be knocked off the back of the uh, of the of the uh, mill, except that it's held by the uh, the rest. So all of that's going to happen at once, and it's uh, the safety features and the and the rest actually uh, are there in place to actually mitigate any uh, any chance of your uh, being struck by the wire, the pliers, or actually uh, dropping your uh, wire drawing plate onto the floor. You don't want to drop your wire drawing plates; they will shatter. So let's go ahead and crank this on through and uh, finish up the pull, and you'll see that it releases with quite a bit of force. And it did not go flying about, the curtain was there, it knocked it down, and at this point our wire has been drawn, you've completed one, uh, one step of the wire drawing process, and the wire's actually grown probably an inch, inch and a quarter in length. Uh, there again, it's being squeezed down to a smaller shape, and as that happens it makes the wire grow in length. So that, I think, is about all I wanted to cover on, uh, on this particular video. Um, the wire drawing mills are available on Facebook and uh, eBay. Just uh, look up uh, wire drawing bench mill, and you'll be able to find these, uh, these for sale. Uh, they're very reasonably priced compared to the, uh, to the big manufacturers and what they want. It's a very simple mill. Uh, there's very little that can actually go wrong with it, so it's, it's maintenance-free. There's no maintenance that you need to do on it or anything like that. Uh, it just works, and, it, and it's, it's robust. So, I, uh, at that point, I think I've covered what I wanted to cover today, and I appreciate you joining me. Thank you.